So, I was meditating earlier, and I just felt the urge. The universe told me, just say this. Say this to somebody, like, very soon, okay? And I knew I was streaming today, so here we are. <laughs> so, this, this is what I wrote down. Atmosphere at your job, around black people, around girls. So, let's bring it back a little bit. So, I went to Chipotle after the gym yesterday. And it was about to close. At like 9 p.m., I went to Chipotle, right? No, like 9, 9.45, I went to Chipotle and it was about to close at 10. I'm talking... They're about to close up. You know, they, you know, they working. They, they want to leave. They, they tired, right? I'm there about to order my food. And the lady who was taking our order, me, me and my boy, our order, she was so, like, high energy. You know what I'm saying? She was so high, high energy. And we weren't even doing anything. Right? We weren't, we weren't doing a single thing. We didn't, like, you know, keep asking all these questions. We didn't, like, smile up in her face, you know, ask, oh, you're pretty or you're so cute. Like, oh, whatever. We didn't, even do, we didn't do none of that. None of that. We were just being ourselves, okay? Mind you, I said, we're just being ourselves. That's, that's, that's all. We are just being ourselves, okay? So, she, she gets our order. Long story short, we're talking, she, you know, uh, she has a girlfriend, whatever. We get uh, her Instagram, right? And we end up staying there until 1030 while they're closing. We, we could have held them hostage. Little did they know. I don't, you know what I'm saying? We could have did some real crucial things up in that Chipotle at 1030 p.m. on a Wednesday, bro. Straight up. We could we could have. But you know what? They talked to us, bro. They laughed with us. They, bro. We were playing music on their aux. Of, of, you know what I'm saying? The whole store. They were just so dope. And you know why? Because we were being ourselves, bro. We were being ourselves. That's it. That's all. We were just being ourselves. Who we know how to be. Not nobody else. Not what you see on Instagram. Not what you see on, on YouTube on how to be an alpha male or whatever the fuck that lame ass shit. We were being us. That's it. So the reason why I wrote this atmosphere at your job. It, it dawned on me. She says something. Me and my nigga, yeah, we trying to fall. We trying to fall. Rose, 13 months on a 13. <laughs> 13 months on a 13 month streak. Rose, thank you so much. Thank, thank you. Love you. Hope you've been taking care of yourself. Hope you've been well. Hope you've been very well. Okay? And thank you. Thank you a lot. No. What's up, Purple Nurse? What up, boy? Listen, okay? So I don't my train of thought. So, it dawned on me. We was in a Chipotle and she said, I was like, I think I asked, I was like, okay, what you like to do? Whatever, you know what I'm saying? Boom, boom, She's in college, yada, yada, yada. And she, and I was like, oh, I asked her where you from? She said, she's from New Orleans. I'm like, I couldn't tell, like your accent, you know what I mean? And she was like, oh yeah, that's because, you know, I have to put on my, my white voice and I have to, you know, put on my face, save face over here, right? Mind you, this chick, she's like 5'10". Like, no, 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 no. Maybe like five, nine, five, yeah, five, nine, five, ten. Black girl, chocolate girl, real nice skin. You know what I'm saying? And it dawned on me. I'm like, wow, she has to act white in somebody else's corporation. AKA, she's not being herself, which is what I saw right when I met her. Like, I saw her. I, y'all know how I get down. I, I see the real in people if they don't see it in themselves. I see the real and the genuine in people before they even see it, right? If they don't. And I was like, yo, that's wild to me. Because 
she is doing everything in her power to get money, chase the bag, whatever they whatever they be saying, to build up somebody else's dream. Because let her get fired from Chipotle yesterday. It's over for her. She got to find something else. What if she got bills? What if she got kids? She, you know, she's young. She was young, but still, right? It's wild to me. So the atmosphere at your job, it don't matter if you're at a gas station, Walgreens, Walmart, Whole Foods. It don't matter where you at. It's like us. We have to like save face and put on different masks, which is why it's easy for it was easy for black people to just, you know what I'm saying? Uh, 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 whenever they say on the news, hey, wherever you go, you have to wear a mask. Bro, y'all don't know how many times I've seen people wear masks in their car. And I'm like, wait, 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 wait. This, this, this is a wild double entendre right here. So what you're telling me is you're wearing a mask in the car? You're wearing a mask in your car, but in all actuality... You're only masking. You've been masking yourself for your whole entire life, because you've been, you've been, you've been, you've been saving. You've been, uh, you've been saving face at work. You've been saving, uh, saving face for your children. You've been saving face for your husband. <laughs> you've been saving face for your whole family. You've been saving. Everybody, it's like we gotta put on. Di- oh, there you go. We got a chance. It's like that's like every every different place I go throughout my day. So let's say I got five errands, y'all. I got five errands in a day. Every place I go, I have to change clothes. Are you out your rabbit ass mind? Imagine how crazy, that that is the equivalence to what I'm talking about, bro. Every time, so I'm going to Walgreens first, okay? I got this shit on, I'm going, right? Then I go to the next door, I gotta come home and change and then go to my next spot. However far it is, however close it is, I have to go home and then come back. Why? That's exhausting. That's tiring. Have, you, have y'all ever been out in the sun? For like an hour? 30, 40, 40 minutes? Like I'm talking about the sun sun. Like Louisiana sun. Arizona sun. Uh, Florida sun. At the beach. Bro. You crazy? It is exhausting. It is tiring as hell, ain't it? Exactly. That's the same way that these people save face and they put on these different masks every place they go. So I put atmosphere at your job, acting white and putting on a good face. And then I put around black people. Okay, another one. This is so, and y'all hear me out. This is so strong and potent right here. Y'all know, (laughs) and I can relate a lot to this. But y'all know how it's like, and I'm talking about like around, and this is so wild. This this is like racist to even say, <laughs> but it's being real, I guess. I'm talking about, have y'all ever been around like the black, black like the hood black people or, you know, the motherfuckers who, you know, slang, slanging that dope, you know what I'm saying? Y'all doing, doing, doing the real thing. You feel me? Doing a real stereotypical thing that was made by white people. It's like you knowing how to pronunciate and talk and, you know, being around different groups of people. When you get around black people, like black, black people, guess what you got to (laughs) do? You got to start talking like them. You got to start subconsciously dumbing yourself down because you don't want to sound like a nerd. You don't want to sound like a geek. You don't want to sound too white, too proper. You don't want to sound like that to them. Because you're just trying to have a good time with them. Because you still black too. It's your culture too. You know what I'm saying? So I find that really interesting. Another, another point on why it's like, wow, wow, wow. Around my own people. I'm getting crucified for... I'm getting crucified for... Being too shy, talking too white, talking too proper. I don't, wow. Wow. That's, that's wild. That's wild. And last point. 
<laughs> this this about this about to hit all y'all hearts right here. This about to hit all y'all hearts. Last point. Around girls. <laughs> Around girls, why in the fuck is it culturally acceptable to care? It is culturally taught to be extra, extra, extra nice. Fellas, we know, we know we don't care. We don't care. We don't care. There's only a couple chicks in high school that we actually might really like. Like, really like for real. A couple. And that's being modest. We don't care. So about going back to the thing about saving face. Yo, why are you saving face to the bro? Why are you saving face to these chicks? Oh, because your mama told you to. Your grandma told you to. Your boys told you to. You're getting peer pressured. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that makes you want to be like, oh shit, well, well, let me. Let 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 me talk up a good game, right? Let me talk up a good game. Let me spice up a little bit, thinking I'm doing something which I'm really not. And let's see if that'll up my chances. <laughs> Guys. Do y'all know, fellas, 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 let's be real here. Manners. Manners. You act so polite around these chicks, bro. Y'all act so damn polite and pristine and clean as hell around these chicks. Keep it a hundred. Keep it a hundred, bro. And you will be surprised on the chicks that will like you. Keep it a hundred. I'm not saying being a dickhead. Like, you know, I'm a caring individual. You're a caring individual, okay? But... The whole underlining message of all of this shit is just by, oh my gosh, y'all, just by being who you are, not who you see on social media, not who you, who, not what you see, not what you see young, young dudes going up to girls and, hey, kiss or grab, all that lame ass, weak ass shit. That is not who you are. That's not who they are. And that's wild too. But you see, that gets more that, that gets more attention. So it's it's more easier to comprehend in your brain. Oh shit, well damn, he's 16, he going to the mall, he asking his girls kiss or grab. So damn, I should do that. Dude, that's not what you do to a, a young girl. That's not what you do to a young woman. A woman. Mind you, these women are not in these videos. Women are not in these videos. They're not. Young women, young ladies are not in these videos. It, it ain't nothing but grown-ass girls and little-ass girls. That's it. That's all you're going to find. If that's what you like, that's what you like. Then don't, you know, don't cry about it. Don't, don't, don't mention about it. Okay? But just by being who you are, just by being you is the most unique thing you can ever... What am I doing right now? I, had, I, I was having a conversation like this yesterday. With this same energy, with this same tone, with this same vibration, with the this is this is me, and this is why y'all this is why y'all gravitate towards me and the fam so heavy because we are who we are, not nobody else, not who we want each other to be. I want y'all to be y'all, and I'm gonna say this real quick. I'm gonna say this real quick. I'm gonna say this real quick. Okay, GK, what up, bro? <laughs> I'm going to say this. Somebody said, <laughs> condemn, I got to talk to you about, anyway, anyway, anyway. Somebody said, hey, your people don't like me. Right? Your people don't even like me. 
And I'm sitting there listening. And and y'all know, when somebody says something, I think about different, you know, different, different canals and different, you know what I'm saying? Connections and shit. And I was like, huh. Why does she think that? Hmm, got it. <laughs> Just like that, got it. Y'all, how I think, how you think, is how we is how you think. It's how I think. Right? It's not about being right or wrong. It's not about being right or wrong in a conversation, in a relation. It's not about it's not about that. We have a mind of our own. That none of y'all are followers. Well, I ain't gonna say none. <laughs> uh most of y'all are not followers. Y'all don't follow behind nobody. Y'all don't follow in somebody's y'all don't do that. Y'all don't do that. Y'all appreciate and accept somebody else's lane. And that'll teach y'all on what, on how to do something and then put your little swag on it or how not to do it. So I'm like, huh, she really said that? Okay. So this is saying, this is saying something about her character. This is saying something about her. This is telling me that she is a woman who likes to be. Uh, like I say, likes to be who has always been and said things that are politically correct. You see what I'm saying? So just by us being us in its most truest form, in its most divine form, that is the most unique thing we can all do. We can ever do. Ever, ever. Ever. It is so rare and it's so unique. What is so impressionable about these? Oh boy. What is so impressionable about these dudes that you see on YouTube saying bullshit to these young ass girls or grown ass girls? 25, little girl, just in a grown body, little girl. Acting different around her, acting different around him. Oh, no, nah, I already messed with her. But when you go back to her, you're going to be pillow talking about. Be you. Be you. All that weird energy. Yeah, all that weird energy. All that weird shit. Nip it in the bud. This is 2022. Be you and be straight up. Unapologetically, bro. Unapologetically. But make sure. Make sure with what you say, because how, especially as men, you know, or as, you know, young men, like, we'll say things and mean it. The fuck? I won't mean that, mother. You know what I mean? I won't mean that. But how we come across and say it, it might be <laughs> too harsh for most people because they're sensitive and soft. And they don't know how to just take <sighs> the truth. Take out... Take out the messenger. What's the message? What's the message here? Oh, oh, oh. You just got so caught up in a 6'3 black dude who, you know what I'm saying, whatever, I don't, whatever, that you, that you, you didn't listen to the whole message. If I had a face cat, society would be like, oh, this dude is so weird. Oh my God, this dude is so weird. Fucking eyebrow piercings, lip piercings on the side, looking like Chucky and shit. You missing the message. Because you weren't about the messenger. You, you forget. You forget. So, to end this off, be yourself. Be you. Unapologetic. Unapolog unapologetically. Be you. No remorse. No regrets. But when you say something to somebody, just remember. Am I being real? Am I being genuine? Unbiased too. Unbiased. You can't be biased. Wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 yeah, yeah. Ask yourself, am I being biased? So do your best to be unbiased. <laughs> 
And am I saying this with love? Am I saying this out of love? Not to hurt, intentionally to hurt somebody else. Am I saying this with love? Am I being real? Am I being genuine? And am I I'm, am I being unbiased? And once you check all them boxes, man, you can you can, you can go to the hood. You can go with the Mexicans. You can go everywhere, and they, they, they'll just know. Oh yeah, he carry himself like that. Like he he carry himself like that. Like it, this, this is him. You see, <laughs> this is him. You see. So yeah, there there it is. There it is.